welcome everybody to the Clash of the Nerds new show. We don't have a title for it yet. Probably should have thought of that first. <laughs> we'll call it the Clash right now because we yeah. have a difference of opinion. So basically, what we're going to do in this show, we're going to take film franchises, movie theater theaters, movie series, themes, genres, whatever we decide, and we're going to pit them against each other. In a bracket style challenge today, in honor of Civil War, probably dominating the uh, box office for the second week in a row. Yeah, we're ranking the top thirteen Marvel Cinematic Universe, starting all the way from Iron Man, all the way up to Captain America: Civil War. So we got them all that's been released in theaters here, and I'm probably sure we'll update this as Doctor Strange comes yeah. out, as Guardians Two comes out, what have you. So the basic ground rules for this is we will pit, we do the seating just like. The NCAA tournament does the seeding. March Madness? Yeah, except with doing 13 movies, we do get a couple buys, meaning that Winter Soldier, which is the top-rated uh, Marvel movie, that's in the number one seed. It gets a bye week. Avengers, which is the number two seeded one, gets a buy. And Captain America Civil War also gets a buy. So in the first mm-hmm. round, we are going to pit the number 13 movie on the list, The Incredible Hulk, the Ed Norton one, not the very, very terrible Eric Bana one. Oh, that was an MCU. That was an MCU. That's not MCU, yeah. so it doesn't so, count. Yeah. Versus the number four seed, Robert Downey Jr.'s 2008 breakout hit, Iron Man. The movie oh, that started it at all. Basically the first two. Yeah, so Nelson, okay. we will start with you. Iron Man or Hulk and why? Why it's a, which one is a superior movie? Yeah. Um You know? As much as I like The Incredible Hulk, because I do like The Incredible Hulk movie, the Ed Norton one, and I was saddened that he did not come back, I'm going to have to go with Iron Man. Um, I thought Iron Man was done very, very well. Um, John Favreau did a fantastic job, at least I think so, um, of creating this world that became even bigger um, with... And the casting of Robert Downey Jr. was almost perfect. That was, like you said, uh, in um, just like in random conversations, they pretty much cast Tony Stark to be Tony Stark. Yeah. He was essentially a billionaire, um, alcoholic um, playboy. That you know he uh, he does good things with his money nowadays. I don't know how well. So you got Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. So you got Iron Man. Kevin. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not to jump on that as well. The Iron Man thing. Um, I, I liked it because it, I thought it was a really good origins type of story. It's got a, a lot of depth to it, and um, Tony Stark, I mean, well cast, you know. Yeah. And um, speaking of the together, origin, yeah. in spite of him not having live parents, it wasn't the death of his parents that catalyzed it, yeah. like every other superhero. They oh, yeah, it was dead, yeah, it was dead. And it was his dumbass choices yeah. that made him go. Also, one more note, though. I feel like uh, Incredible Hulk had too much baggage attached to it because it wasn't a direct sequel it was a soft reboot yeah a soft reboot of the Eric Bano and Stephanie even though we have our winner with Iron Man what would you have picked Iron Man it would have been a clean sweep for Iron Man so Iron Man is moving on to the next round woo moving on up so for our next one uh, we (coughs) ranked the number 12 movie Thor the Dark World Versus the number five film, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, so, uh, that's not even fair. <laughs> Kevin, we'll start with you on this one. So Thor, Dark World, or... Or Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy. Definitely Guardians of the Galaxy on this one. All right, why? Um, Other than the I, I really, I really didn't like... Sorry, Thor. But I really didn't like... <laughs> I really didn't like Thor, Dark World. I don't know why. It's just... um. I don't know. Just something there was about, something yeah. tricky about that one. Yeah. I, I would admit that, too. I'll explain yeah. why I think. Okay. You guys are all not going to pick Thor the Dark World, because I think yeah. I know why. Yeah. Stephanie. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Chris Pratt. Chris all Pratt. That's her answer. That's her answer. The soundtrack yeah. alone. Is the soundtrack nice. alone. Yeah. That, that's actually like the, speaking of the soundtrack, that's like the best superhero soundtrack since like the original release of Marvel movies, like the Spider-Man Daredevil Punisher those all oh, have those great soundtracks. All great soundtracks. So yeah, they kind of gotten away from that with the other ones because all the other ones, like the new Batman and Superman movies, uh, including the Nolan ones and all the new Marvel movies, 
seem to have like a symphonic, which nothing. Yeah, wrong yeah. With it's, that. it's not even a soundtrack. It's the score. Yes, yeah, the they score. Released. Yeah, this was which, with, like the first one that actually had a real soundtrack. Yeah. To mm-hmm. it. Like Avengers had one, but none of the songs were featured in the movie. I didn't yeah. like Guardians. Yeah, I didn't like even the ones that I heard that were on the soundtrack. I didn't particularly care yeah. for. And so Nelson, your vote doesn't matter, but <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go with Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy because of Groot. <laughs> Groot. <laughs> oh. But now here's why. Here's why Thor: The Dark World right there is like it gets so muddled because it's just there. There's no real stakes that I mean they didn't yeah. they didn't flesh out the villain. It was more. It, Everything that happens through the Dark World could have been done in like a Marvel short, which is like Loki and Thor align coming together. Yeah, it has yeah, yeah. it has good parts, but it was, it was an entertaining. Watch. It was yeah. It, it, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's nothing memorable about it. Like that's yeah, very. Can true. anybody remember the villain's name? No, he had a Dark name. World. He had a name. No one. No, no. Malekith. That was his name. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the yeah, so yeah, thing. It's just. It was just such a bland, bland movie yeah. that no, it, there's nothing memorable about it. There's nothing terrible about it, like Batman vs Superman, but there's nothing <laughs> memorable about it, like Man of Steel. Yeah. So, so oh. moving on. Turn down. Oh, no. I'm gonna take shots at that movie anytime I can. They ruined my favorite character, Batman. Oh man, it was. So now we're going to move on, and we pit. This is going to be the first time two sequels are pitted against each other. Probably Uh-oh. not the last. Uh oh. Iron Man 2 oh. and Iron Man 3. Oh. <laughs> oh. One catches the Zervin shit. The other catches shit for, I think, no reason. But I'm not the judge in this. I'm just the moderator. So, Stephanie, you get to start this one. You're going to hate me. Probably. Uh, Iron Man 2. That's the one you're picking? Yeah. So why are you picking that over Iron Man 3? Who was the guy that played the bad guy? <laughs> Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. Oh. I like him as an actor. And him playing the villain, he did really well in. And therefore, that's why I pick. He I would know. thank you, but still hate you on your movie <laughs> choice. Because <laughs> he hates that I'm movie sorry. so much. Or Mickey Rourke? Yeah, Mickey Rourke. Oh, he's yeah, so he's bitter. He's been in a bunch of movies like Warrior and... Um, no, he's not in Warrior. Movie. You're thinking The Wrestler. Yeah, yeah, the wrestler. War- that's the Warriors. Warrior is um, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. No, Tom Hardy. No, but his dad was Mickey Ward. No, no, his dad it was uh, Nick Nolte. Nick Nolte. Was it? God, they look alike. <laughs> I literally. That's yeah, what they just... do look alike. Um, no, I, they don't. That's a horrible <laughs> mistake to me. <laughs> <laughs> After we're done here, in fact, Nelson, I do want you to put <laughs> a side by side picture <laughs> it's of out. those two together. I'll they show you pictures. They also sound no, alike. No, you're thinking of Mickey Rourke and. Um, the guy, uh, Michael Madison, is probably who you're thinking of. Cause Either those that two look or, or um, Nick Nolte and um, Gary Busey. Yeah. No, you're not Gary people. Busey. But, okay, so you got Iron Man 2. Nelson. Yes. <laughs> mm. Do I render your, your thing here? Uh, un, uh, well, you un, pick un, whichever un, movie you yeah, want. Yeah, I'm going to go with Iron Man 2 because... Wow. The, because... <laughs> I, lo- I mean, I, lo- I liked Iron <coughs> Man 3. Um, it did have some, some issues, but the, the issues I had with it were more along the lines of the fact that, you know, John Favreau wasn't the director of 3. So it's, a, it's kind of like a continuity thing almost. It, the, that is your swingers bias coming into play there. No, 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 All right, all right. Because, like, it just, it doesn't feel the same, because, I mean, you don't have any of the ACDC music that he kind of established with Iron Man. There's a reasoning for that. I know there's a reasoning for that. And Shane West just has a different style. Shane Black. Or Shane Black. Shane Black has a completely different style. Let's get our names correct. So it felt different. It really did feel different to me. Um, I felt tonally that um, Iron Man 2 matched Iron Man 1 a little bit better than 3. Okay. So, Kevin, I can tell by your reaction. You yeah. don't agree with them, do you? No, I don't, actually. <laughs> and I agree with you, but I don't get a vote. But go, go tell, tell well, the audience why you're right and they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, at this point, my opinion doesn't even matter. But Iron Man 3, because, I mean, I'm going to be a big child on this one. I love the suits. You got to you got to love the, the suits. suits were great. All the Iron the Man suits, suits were fantastic. Red Snapper, you know, all all the suits the uh, Hulk uh, no, Hulk Buster. The the no, 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 the, no. the mini Hulk yeah, Buster. Yeah, it was the one. The yeah, I think yeah. they called it the Buster. It didn't have a yeah. name in the movie. Yeah. I saw the toy. Yeah, I think they yeah. just called it the Buster or the Breaker or something. It kind of like looked yeah. a little bit like yeah. like the old school. Well, everyone Hulk. thought it was the Hulk Buster yeah. when they originally and saw it. That's what I thought too. That's why I said that. 
<laughs> Till they saw Veronica. Yeah, but here, here's the thing. Here's why, well, A, I think Iron Man 3 is a better movie because they took their time to make it, where Iron Man 2 was another one of those rush sequels to me, mm-hmm. which is not a bad movie, but m- kind of like to me, like Thor The Dark World, it's just there. It was just, we have a slot to fill for a movie before yeah. we get to the Avengers. Let's do another Cap or another Iron Man movie. But what I like about Iron Man 3 the best, it shows a consequence from the Avengers movie. We see a post-Avengers Tony Stark where he's taking more he's responsibility. He's got P- PTSD, yeah. Yeah, because in the first two Iron Man movies, he's just a billionaire playboy having fun with his toys. Mm-hmm. After Avengers, he sees that there's real consequences to superheroes existing, and he works with those consequences in Iron Man 3. And I like, and I do like the narration of a Shane Black movie because he did, mm-hmm. he's done... Kiss um, Kiss Bang Bang. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Which should have been an Iron Man the, movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, yeah. That would have been nice if they would have uh, put somehow found Val Kilmer in that, for that movie. Yeah. Um, and also um, Lethal Weapon 2 and 3, which are two of my all-time favorite movies. He yeah. did those. And he's got the new movie Good Guys coming out next week. Can't weekend, wait to see that. That's going to work. Which I feel it's supposed to be a sequel awesome, to yeah. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, but probably couldn't get Downey Jr. anymore. Yeah, probably. But I, I, just, I like his method of storytelling. Like I like the narration that he does and I love how every one of his films take place during Christmas time Yeah, which was a complete accident which is why they actually shoehorn Christmas into Iron Man 3 because <laughs> someone said to him like Shane all of your movies take place during Christmas why isn't this one and he was like uh, alright we'll put Christmas in there <laughs> so that's our first upset because that's an 11 taking down a 6 so for our last in the first round we've got um, Thor the original Thor Versus Captain America, the first Avenger. So we are starting with Nelson this time. Ooh, Cap versus Thor. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That is a hard one. That's, that might be, until we get to like the final four, that might be the toughest one to pick. Honestly, I feel like this might, I feel like whichever way it goes, it might be an upset for, uh, for this particular round. Um, I'm going to start with... Uh, I'm gonna go with Cap. Cap? Yeah. Uh, I like Joe Johnston as a director, even though it's pretty much just a sequel to uh, Rocketeer. Yeah. <laughs> but I like I liked the uh, I liked the 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 period piece, and I thought it set up the character very really well, and it showed that you know Chris Evans can break away from his Human Torch roots. <laughs> I do feel like Captain America: The First Avenger is one of like the most underrated. Of the Marvel I, films. I, I would agree. All right, Kevin. I'm going to have to go with Thor on this one. Good. About time we're going into the third person <laughs> in the Good boat, job, buddy. Good job. Good job, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> so why Thor over Captain America? Um, I don't really have a very good reason, but I don't know. I just found the first Cap really entertaining. You know what I mean? It's Which a good origin story. I've run into a lot, yeah. actually. It's a good origin story, both of them. Um, but I don't know. I just found it... Not very, I don't know. It doesn't have a good replay value. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I, I also think, like, with Captain America, one of the faults it has to, because it's a throwback to, oh, not a throwback, but it's a flashback, basically. Yeah. We know there's no real consequences, because we knew Captain America was going to show up in the Avengers, so we knew he wasn't going to die. And nothing of real consequences for the fate of the world was going to happen since we'd already seen Iron Man and Hulk. Mm-hmm. Maybe Thor, I can't remember which came out first, Thor or Captain I know they... They all were, they were like too. right around at the same yeah. time. Like, and, no, I think Thor came out first. I think at, yeah, at the end of the Captain America movie. Yeah, you're right. They you're show right. the right. um, sequel, not the sequel, the preview to Avengers. Yeah. All right, so Stephanie, all comes down to you. Who's moving on, Captain on. America or Thor? Uh, you know which one I'm going with. <laughs> it's Captain America. Captain America. Yeah. All right. Why are you picking <laughs> Cap? <laughs> Told you it was going to be an upset. <laughs> Actually, no, that's not an upset. Either way. Upset for Thor. Cap was ranked 8, Thor was 9. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just felt like it was an all-around good movie. Um, yeah. Plus, I'm a fan of Chris Evans. So. <laughs> She's a little biased, but, but that's okay. Yeah. A little biased. <laughs> just a little that's biased. okay. <laughs> uh, Thor was good, but I felt like um, <clears throat> if you're talking about like not having any kind of like, like you were saying, like kind of slow and not, yeah. they kind of felt the same way to me, both movies. I couldn't really follow Thor too much, but I could follow Captain America a little bit easier. So you couldn't follow the movie 
that's set in modern times, but the one that's a throwback to 1945, you're like, I no. got that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, those two movies for me are pretty equal. Like, that'd be a tough choice for me. Yeah. Because I do love Joe Johnston. Like you said, kind of feels like a sequel to like uh, The Rocketeer. Yeah. And I immediately watch Rocketeer. And I know I know I mentioned... I love Rocketeer. I know I mentioned to you that because Disney owns the movie rights to The Rocketeer, how cool would it be if they rebooted The Rocketeer no. movie? No, no, listen to me. No, they reboot good, Rocketeer. Cool they reboot Rocketeer, but put him... In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like right after Cap, like right after Cap goes and dies, and instead of Howard Hughes inventing the jetpack, Howard Stark invents the jetpack. That's a really and then cool later on in the MCU, idea. maybe Tony finds the original Rocketeer plan, so it's a callback to that because this one doesn't. And we can and with the cancellation I'm an of Peggy avid Carter, Rocketeer fan, I I love the movie. Oh um, yeah. Screaming. But we could throw Peggy yeah, Carter in there. They did such a good job with the Rocketeer movie. And they like, did. The story. But I, how cool would it be to have a soft reboot slash sequel, but throw it in the MCU? Because we can't put it in the I MCU the way it is. I can understand what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. You, get, you can't but do I that. That's a really cool idea. But I don't want to ruin what's already built. Well, here's the thing. This is the thing people get with either late sequels or reboots. You don't ruin the past film. Because there's never going to be a true Rocketeer sequel. Because well, yeah, all the, all, the, all the actors are, are way too old. old. Yeah. I mean, they're all in their 40s and 50s. Yeah. So we're never going to get a sequel to that. Disney still owns the movie rights. If they want to do something with it, that's a way they can reintroduce it. Though, I'm surprised that Rocketeer wasn't put out... The comics wasn't put out by Marvel. Well, no. It was, but this, well, this was long before Disney bought No, Marvel. I mean, they just redid. Well, that's because Disney yeah. doesn't own the comic book rights. They just oh, own they, the film rights. Okay. Yeah, they don't oh, own the I didn't realize property. that. So Cat moves on. So we're now into... Oh, sorry, we have one more for round uh, one. I almost missed it. Avengers Age of Ultron, ranking at number 10. Oh. Versus maybe the Cinderella story, <laughs> number seven, Ant-Man. Oh. <laughs> so, Kevin, we start with you. Age of Ultron or Ant-Man? Hmm. Either the poster behind you or the poster that we did not get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, I like them both, but I'm going to have to go with Ant-Man. Ant Man, mm -hmm. any particular reason? Um, it's it's an original, it's an origin story, and I I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. I thought it was good. Yeah. All right, Stephanie. I have to agree with him. It's a good origin Amen. story. Um, Ant Man all the way. Um, I do like I did like Age of Ultron, but I really enjoyed the idea and how they made him really really subatomically small, and they made it all nice and cool looking so everybody could understand. And then Paul Rudd did a killing on Ant-Man. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, Says him. I mean, not that it matters, but it's a clean sweep. Clean sweep for Ant-Man. And it might be because of the fact that Ant-Man is so fresh in my mind. Because I the little literally... guy took on all the Avengers. <laughs> and he he on top. I literally just Civil watched War it. Too. I mean, yeah. I literally just watched Ant-Man for the first time, like, two hours ago. Yeah. Are you what? kidding me? Yeah. I just, I, that was one I've just been behind on. I just, like, haven't had a chance And Ant-Man Ant has the... Um, <clears throat> It has, it, like you guys kind of all touched on, it had the originality to it. We hadn't yeah. seen anything like that on film. Exactly. Um, as far as superheroes go, we had seen The Incredible Shrinking Woman and uh, what's that one um, where they go in the little... Inner kind of space. Inner space, yeah. So we had seen some yes. time before. But yeah, it was a nice refreshing origin story and just the cast, the whole cast in that movie. Oh, yeah. that was great. T.I. stole, like... T.I. is hilarious in that. Hilarious. I never thought T.I. could act, but he cracked <laughs> me up in that. That was great. So going into round two now... We Deuce. have, for this round, Winter Soldier versus Captain America, the oh. first Avenger. Mm. Iron Man versus Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh. Mm. Ant-Man has to take on the Avengers once again as he takes on the original <laughs> Avengers movie. Oh, oh, and then we have Iron Man 2 versus Captain America Civil War. So we have sequels abound <sighs> versus each other. This is going to mm. be tough. Mm. So we are going to start with the 1 verse 8 with Winter Soldier versus the original Captain America. Stephanie. Winter Soldier. You, I was like, you can't go with, like, I picked Chris Evans this time. No, it's Winter Soldier. The, and now she's like, action, I pick Winter Soldier. The yeah. action, everything that goes along with the movie. Need I explain more? The movie itself is just good all the way around. Nelson? I'm, it, I feel like this might end up being a clean sweep. I'm going to go with uh, Winter Soldier Sorry. because it's, you know, it's, it's a completely different movie. Um, with where Cap One was a, a World War Two period piece, Winter Soldier is an espionage um, like type of movie. You know, kind of like in, in the vein of like Manchurian Candidate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Kevin. It doesn't matter, but your pick. <laughs> Cap One. No. <laughs> I'm gonna be difficult. <laughs> I love being difficult. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Cap, Cap, Cap 2, Winter Soldier, uh, yeah. the whole espionage, conspiracy plot, everyone loves that. Yeah, it, it was, what I loved about Winter Soldier, because I would have picked that <clears> if I had to say, is A, they changed the tone completely. They oh, went from this tone, throwback, yeah. Yeah. all-American, almost a 1940s style of movie with uh, the first Avenger, and then the Russo brothers take over, who are known for ensemble comedies of all things, Arrested Development, and Community, and they... T- they did something I did not expect that movie to be that good when you took two comedic sitcom directors, basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they changed the tone, not only the tone of Captain America, but they changed the tone of the Marvel Universe. Mm-hmm. Like, because they were all happy-go-lucky up until that movie. That movie and Age of Ultron gets serious. Yeah. Uh, later we'll visit uh, Civil War. That gets serious. Oh, yeah. So I mean, there was a tons of content just sweeping across the MCU, and not, not just, just the movies. Cap, yeah, and so. not even just the movies. It was all throughout the uh, the, the television show. Yeah. Too. So I mean, that's just a completely different tonal change for the entire universe. So now we're going to go on to our next round two matchup: Iron Man versus Guardians of the Galaxy, which I feel is going to be a different, a more difficult uh, uh, match to go. The original oh, Iron Man. Man. So, Kevin, we start oh, with you on this man. one. I have to start up with you. You get the yeah. hard one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You get the hard one. Oh, man. <laughs> um, Iron Man 1. Iron Man 1. Mm-hmm. Wow. Why really? Iron Man 1? <laughs> I, I just, I, I really liked Iron Man 1. Because it, it, I, I think that was the movie that started everything. Yeah, that was the movie. Yeah, it was. And I think that's going to be the hardest one to move on because I think that was the one furthest in our memory. We all probably should have just like gotten together last week. And watch marathon and <laughs> Man, that'd have been Wait, so hard. Because that thing is, you went, get down, puppy. <laughs> yes, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor doesn't agree with your yeah. your say. It's like the Guardians. It's got to talk about raccoon. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you got to think far back to two thousand eight because you and you have to think back to the way you felt when you first thought saw Iron Man. Exactly. Because yeah. really, like seeing Iron Man was like a breath of fresh air. Because really, the it had been a few years since Spider Man Two, which was the last good comic book movie where the Dark Knight had come out or was right about to come out. Batman Begins to come out. As much as I like the Nolan Batman movies, they're not comic book movies. It is a serious revenge drama. They just have to throw a cape on the guy. Mm-hmm. So seeing Iron mm-hmm. Man was the first time we'd seen a really good comic book movie mm-hmm. since like Spider Man Two. So it had yeah. been what six years because Spider Man Two was like two thousand two, two thousand three, yeah. somewhere around so, there. Yeah, like two thousand three. Yeah, so like six, seven years yeah. or five, six years. So. Yeah. Iron Man One's on the board, Stephanie. I feel that you're not going to agree with that one. Guardians of the Galaxy. Because. Because just I'm a huge fan of comedy, and it was so just awesome all the way around. The, um, obviously Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Chris, Chris Pratt. Pratt. <laughs> um, and his that might just one-liners. carry him to the final. <laughs> <laughs> his one-liners. And so more Chris Pratt's like yes. <laughs> but I also like uh, Zoe Saldana. Um, she was really good in it, and uh, just. I'm just a fan of Guardians, hence the necklace. (laughs) Sason, all comes down to you. Iron Man 1. Guardians of the Galaxy. Or Galaxy. Or Guardians of the Galaxy. Those are two really strong movies. (laughs) Because you have the first one, the first movie. The first, like, good comic book movie since Spider-Man 2, like you said. And then they had, they started the little trend of the Easter egg at the end of the credits. That just kicked everything off. And Which if it wasn't pissed off every movie theater employee <laughs> oh, yeah. ever. Because yeah, <laughs> now everyone stays to the end of every exactly. movie. Exactly. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, if it wasn't for Iron Man uh, 1 being so successful, you wouldn't have Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy was wildly successful. I take it very seriously when tons of people compare it to Star Wars and say it's the Star Wars of this generation. Granted, it's been said in other, like, commercials, and they weren't remotely true. I could see that with Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians. Your final answer? (laughs) (laughs) That's like the million dollar question. Oh, man. Drum roll, drum roll. It was harder than your little (laughs) (laughs) answer. I'm going to have to go with... um, Dance off, bro. Dance off, bro! I'm gonna, I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with the baby group on my desk at work. Oh, yes! Guardians is on. Nelson, you missed the opportunity there when she said dance off. You should have had the two of them dance off. Dance off, bro! And whoever won would get your vote. So Guardians, <laughs> in a bit of an upset, but it's four versus five, so not much of an upset. We see that all the time um, in the Final Four, uh, March Madness, so... Um, for me though, both of those are really strong. Like I love James Gunn. I've literally seen all of James Gunn stuff. Mm-hmm. 
Um, you have Slither. I do. <laughs> Slither is a fantastic it's, horror. I feel comedy. like it, I feel like it's you haven't seen Slither. You need. No. To I've check seen. That I've out. seen half of it. I need to go and actually. Granted, watch his it. other superhero film, Super, is really dark. Like, oh, disturbingly man. dark. That yeah, the, I probably will never watch that again. The Ellen it's Page. Good. What is it called? The, Super. Super. The Ellen yeah. Page part at the end. Yeah. That it's, caught don't. Me hey, they haven't seen it. Like, don't say nothing. I, that's yeah, all I said. It's, it's got Dwight from The Office as the main character. He becomes a vigilante. Okay. It's like it, think of Kick Ass if Kick Ass was a good movie. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> like Kick Ass. <laughs> Okay, that's so essentially the same movie, though. We have that moving on. So we are going now to Iron Man Two. See if Iron Man can get some redemption against Civil War. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, you get to start this one off. Here? Well, you you were the one who helped Iron Man I've Two in the second seen round. I've so. been like a handful of times. I went in the first weekend of Captain America: Civil War and saw it twice within two days of it. So your pick is easily Civil War. Civil War. Saison. Just, just Iron Man off. 2 versus Civil War. Iron Man 2 versus Civil War. That's not even fair. See, y'all break <laughs> yeah. it down way more than I do. I just look at it as just... So I'm just like, who's got the hottest lead? All no, right, no, that's no, no, my no, no, pick. No, not even that. <laughs> Can I Civil phone a friend? So I don't good. think you need to phone a friend. <laughs> I like how you're trying to add this false drama. Can, can I check? No. Make your pick. <laughs> oh... I liked it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm Civil gonna War. have to go with Civil War. Or Civil, what was it? Civil War versus Iron Man yeah, 2. Civil War, yeah. Civil War. Have to go Civil War. Civil War is clean, clean sweep for the sequels. Yeah. So Civil War is going to the next round. So our last of the second round to solidify our final four. Avengers against the little guy. Literally and figuratively speaking, Ant Man. Ant Man. So N- no Nelson, we start off with this time. Oh, okay. Because we started with you last time. See, seeing as how I have seen them both fairly recently, because Avengers was on the other night. Yeah, it was. That. Avengers was such a great movie. You, you have the culmination of how many years of work? Two that was two thousand eight. In that, it was like two thousand like, six years. Yeah, four six years, something like that. Because Avengers came out two thousand twelve. Yeah. Yeah, so you well, had the combination of Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Hulk, Thor, Captain America. So you had at least five movies in there. Five movies. And that was number six, I believe. And so. this was something completely new to the to the you know, to the movie industry, which now they are copying at nauseum. Recreating in droves. Yeah, they're cre- trying to recreate at nauseum and it's not necessarily and working. And it's not just DC, it's Paramount's gonna bring in Mask yeah. with G.I. Joe and possibly crossing that over Transformers. The Hasbro verse. Oh. Yeah, and then you have um, Godzilla and King Kong gonna cross over. It's, it's, it's gonna they're, they're gonna try to shoehorn Pacific Rim to Yeah. Oh so man, it's it's and then and then we have Ant- So the movie that became the culmination of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and maybe the ruination of movies in general as we get all kinds of cinematic universes. Yeah. Or you get the little ant that could. The little ant that could. <laughs> that <laughs> was a bre- honestly a breath of fresh air for for movie uh, for not just comic book movies, you know, just movies in general because it was a new concept to the film industry. And obviously, Ant Man's been around for for a long time. I mean, he's been in the comics. Found being Avenger. Never been one of my favorites. Never really had anything against him, but I just wasn't into him. I thought I actually kind of thought he was a little lame, but <laughs> the movie has right, changed my make mind. Make your pick. <sighs> and Paul Rudd was fantastic. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Avengers. Avengers, all right. I'm gonna go with my T-shirt. <laughs> Kevin, you're up. Yep, Avengers. Avengers. Yep, yep. It has a lot of good re- replay value, and I, I just I love the movie. Yeah, yeah. all the characters are in there. It's Steph- a really tough choice. Yeah, Stephanie, honestly. what would you have gone with? Ant Man. Oh, so it would have been a clean sweep. Ant Man at least gets a vote there, but he loses. So our final four is set. We have Winter Soldier versus Guardians of the Galaxy, and Avengers versus Civil War. So we've got wow. Cap in three of the movies. This is gonna be. It was almost an all Cap final four. <laughs> so. <laughs> We will start with, uh, we'll keep your minds fresh, we will start with Avengers vs. Civil War. Oh, Kevin goes first. <laughs> he's, like, he's just like giving him the hard choices oh, to start man. off. Yeah, he does get the hardest ones to oh, pick. Oh man, damn. That's a hard Avengers one. 1 versus Civil War. Yep. Yeah. AKA Avengers 3 and a half. Yeah. Or 2 and, two and, and a half. half. Yeah. Two and a half. Hmm. <laughs> the only cool. Avengers you're missing in Civil War is Hulk and Thor, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Hmm. I don't know, it's a, that's a tough one. Um... Civil War, I enjoyed it from, you know, all, all the, it's like the internal conflict, everything yeah. just breaking down. 
Um, but Avengers, though, it's a really, really good movie. Um, not to go with Avengers 1. Avengers 1, all right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Stephanie? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She can't say Chris Evans for either one. Uh, <laughs> I paid for Chris Evans. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I love him. Uh, Somebody uh, else. Uh... I'll have to say Civil War. It's Civil fresh War? in my head, and I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> Good. I'm glad we don't have a clean sweep there. So, say, so you get to cast a deciding vote. Oh, boy. Deciding vote. Because you're talking about two culmination movies. Yeah. Right there. You have the culmination of all the work they put into making the cinematic universe versus the culmination of those bonds being broken down from yep. phase yeah. two. Yep. And unlike with Batman vs. Superman, we cared about these characters. Like, mm-hmm. yes, we care yes. about Batman and Superman, but not necessarily these Batman Superman. We cared about we, them in the wrong way. Yeah. We cared about the fact that the writers didn't give a shit about the... the yeah, and character. in this one, like you said, it's it's the built-up. We built these friendships, and now we yeah. built... We were breaking down. these bonds that, yeah. you, that you're heavily invested in. Oh, man. Um, either way. Either, doesn't matter, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the audience is the winner. <laughs> yeah, for the most part. Yeah, I'm... Go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna have to go with Civil War. Civil War! Because <clears throat> the stakes have changed, and you know, I can't wait to see what the the outcome is. I be loved there. the ending the of Civil War. War. I would have been different Not though. Really like, I love, love Civil War. I gave it a great review on the website, but after re watching Avengers the other night on FX, I forgot how much I really, really like oh, Avengers. Oh man, it's <sighs> such a great like, movie. And like we were talking about Iron Man, it's like when you haven't seen a film in a couple years, mm-hmm. and then you watch it again, you're like, oh my god, I forgot about that part. Like the guy playing Galaga. <laughs> we all saw him. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Punisher Warzone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Punisher Warzone, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that was, a good, that was a close one. I think that might have been the toughest one to see what gets into the finals. Face it. Um, Winter Soldier versus Guardians. Stephanie, oh, you get the first pick. No. Pratt oh. versus Evans. Oh. <laughs> and Stephanie is now slowly dying. Oh, my soul. If we ever have the chance to meet Chris Pratt or uh, Chris Evans for like any kind of like They're uh, both good guys. A uh, press gig, we're gonna have to surprise Stephanie right here. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> He's done. He's done. Like, I heard you voted against me. Whoever I pick in this choice, don't hate me! Um Ah, Guardians of the Galaxy or Winter Soldier. Super serious spy I drama, know, space comedy. Funny. <laughs> yeah. Super funny Fun or super space serious. adventure, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on. Um. I'm sorry, Chris Evans. I do like you, but I like Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, wow. Guardians gets the first vote. Sason. Oh, wow. Yeah, if you need to go, yeah. Oh, man. Winter Soldier versus the Guardians of the Galaxy. That is a really, really tough choice. Because, like you said, you have your your espionage drama, which was action-packed and, like, so fantastic, versus Baby Groot. It was so awesome. <laughs> you were in love with that baby Groot. Baby Groot! <sighs> Man! And Stephanie picked Guardians? Stephanie picked Guardians. You shot your pants, yo? Yeah, I, I, it's coming out. It's, I got a turtle head poking. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Shazbot. Um, if I were to go put in a movie right now as I finish my laundry the one that would go in first would be Civil War Civil War gets the vote for oh not Civil War Uh, yeah Winter Winter Soldier Winter Soldier Winter Soldier so Nelson's Team Chris Evans not Team Chris Pratt (laughs) the Chris's not the Chris's I think that was I think there was something like that on Twitter at one point well yeah because oh yeah during the Super Bowl yeah they were joking one's a Patriots fan one's a uh Seahawks fans, so that yeah. was... Oh, they were also doing, like, a ago, bunch yeah. of big wishes. That they, they had, like, a little rivalry yeah. going on. All right, Kevin, it comes down to you. Winter Soldier or Guardians of the Galaxy? I love both of the movies, but 
I'm gonna have to go with uh, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Oh, oh wow! All cap final. A bit of yeah. Now Stephanie feels like her vote was in vain. <laughs> we have the number one movie going Big against bit. the number three movie, though. I actually, when I was going through this, I really thought it was. Easy. I knew, I knew, uh, Winter Soldier was probably going to make it out of its bracket. I was like, is it going to be Avengers? Is it going to be Civil War? I knew Cap was going to be on both sides. I'm sure Ant-Man made one. it a little bit farther than you expected. It did. I didn't think Ant-Man would get past Age of Ultron. I'm proud of you guys for that. <laughs> <laughs> Though, technically, I did have Ant-Man ranked higher, but yeah. Ant-Man's one of those things that like some people like it, some people don't like yeah, it. Yeah, I completely get that. So, for our final, we have Civil War versus Winter Soldier. Which Captain America is not only the best what? Marvel film, but best of the Cat films. So you definitely can't even go with the hotter uh, guy because you. Gotta I, go though with. I'm sure if uh, if um, Star Lord was in Civil War, she would go with that. Yeah. So it's got all of my but men. I mean, Chris Pratt is not hotter than Chris Evans. But right. but it would have pushed it over the edge for you. Uh, I like Winter the Soldier. fact that it was a comedy when all these other movies are so serious. I'm just saying it would have put it over <laughs> the edge because <laughs> the Winter Soldier. Which is a movie with Cap Sands Chris Evans versus <laughs> a movie with Chris Evans and Chris Pratt. <laughs> really got him. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Stacey, we're going to start with you on this one. And oh. we have a dog down here. Taylor, come here. Come here. You can't be far you're doing filming, Just but you can help me host. You can help me host. <laughs> oh, there you, you go. You can help me host, okay. Wolf, I'm going to eat the loser. So, <laughs> <laughs> she might. So, Nelson, you get to start this off. Winter Soldier or... Civil War. I feel like Taylor Chantel would pick the right one or I'll kill you. Maybe. <laughs> Stop looking in the camera. That's not professional. <laughs> uh, man, that is a really tough one. Tone-wise, they are actually kind of similar to me in my mind. I mean, granted, one that has... Wait a second there. <laughs> Wait, stand up. <laughs> He's not going to stand up. I'd probably F that up. Yeah, he probably did. Well, there we go. He <laughs> won the fight in the movie anyway, so. <laughs> he did. They won the Oh, man. I mean. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Civil War, Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier was a great movie. And so was. No, they're both great They're movies. both great movies. They, they're both Captain America movies. They both have the Winter Soldier in them. Winter Soldier, I felt, was a little bit more active in The Winter Soldier, obviously. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna have to go with Civil War. Civil War. I'm glad I'm not having to make this decision. That's a hard one. <laughs> That's a really hard one. Civil War gets one vote. Kevin. I'm going to be the difficult one. <laughs> I'm going to go with Winter Soldier. On oh! This one. oh. Make, make, their, make their stakes. Yeah. You have to make stakes. It's more, it's more, it's more focused in, in Winter Soldier, and that's what I liked about it. You know, it's more focused. The other one's more, like, spread out. Right. And it's good, too, but it's mm-hmm. like, you know what I mean? It's not as focused. I like things more focused. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely... We have a straight, linear story. There's no... Yeah. S- yeah. Not really any side plots for it. I mean, Hydra's the villain... They're using Winter Soldier to uh, mm-hmm. get at Shield. Yeah. So. And we're raising the stakes for for Stephanie. Yep. Unlike Batman v Superman. So Stephanie, <laughs> you have a tough choice to make here. Chris Evans two versus Chris Evans three. Chris Evans three. <laughs> Civil War. Civil War gets yeah. the vote for you. So that's our ultimate winner. Ding 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 ding. Go get your ball. Ding 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 ding. So. I've seen all of them, but. Yeah. <laughs> Again, thank you guys for coming. We have picked our ultimate Marvel movie. It was a difficult which is challenge. Captain America: Civil War, the brand new one. I feel like I lost a year of my life. Not surprised <laughs> by that one because both of those are really good movies, really tough. Movies. But I had a feeling it was going to be an all Captain America final. So Kevin, thank you for coming on. Thank Stephanie, you for having me. as usual, thanks for coming on. And everyone, remember to click that like and subscribe button right below and visit our sponsors, Amazon.com, link in the description. Yep. That's all, all right. what Taylor was saying underneath yep. the, uh, the table. <laughs> all right. So, good night, Vagina, Saskatchewan. Peace. <laughs>